In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down one of the best running plays from the shotgun and from the spread playbook in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. My goal here, if you've never been here before, is to basically try to help you get better. And I do that through posting tips and tricks videos here on YouTube every single day. We try to get to about four tips um, every single day. We also stream on YouTube every single night at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about a nice little running concept that I think I haven't heard a lot about. Uh, this specific run is actually kind of a building block off of another run that we've talked about before. But before we jump into that, I do want to first encourage you to go ahead and click that subscribe button. And I wanted to tell you really quickly, if you have not joined my texting membership, um, you can do that by texting the my, my cell phone number, which is at the top left-hand corner of your screen there. It's 812-216-3644. That membership is amazing. Literally, it's completely free, um, and you get access to what I call a meta uh tip of the week or you know what what some people would call vault updates or you know basically sub tips or whatever it might be what i try to do is i try to put into one video some type of advanced high level concept that will never go on my youtube channel um publicly will never go on discord it's just for people who are my texting members i just wanted to pour into you guys a little bit more and so if you haven't already done that it's very very easy all you got to do is just text me uh text your name uh, preferably that way I can get you saved in my contacts. Um, but that's pretty much it. And every single week we, the, the last one we did was 50 minute video on run defense, talking about every single style of running, uh, play that you're going to face and how to stop it. Now we did show how to stop this run, but this is a really, really unique run in my opinion. And it's a really, really good formation gun trio offset from the spread playbook. And the run we're going to be talking about is Buck's uh, Buck Sweep. So you've got two pulling guards here, and I find this run to be especially hard to use or defend. What I like about this is it's kind of a two-window run. It's a run that you can run to the middle if you want to. So like, as you saw right there, like if we get shot, like if they shoot the gap like that, then we can actually just quickly bounce this all the way to the outside. Most of the time, I feel like you're not going to run this to the outside, though. Most of the time, you're going to run this to the inside. But what's cool is, what's cool about this run is, you, it's two windows, right? It's two opportunities to be able to decide. And it allows you some flexibility in your running game. It allows you to basically um, be flexible in how you navigate it. Because you now have a run that can be ran to the middle. And you also have a run, like if they're pinching you in the middle, just like this right here, then I can get to the edge and get on the perimeter and see what I can come up with. So this buck sweep one... Uh, buck sweep run is very very effective you see how that pulling guard really does help a lot with gap shooting if people are trying to shoot the gaps this year which a lot of people probably are this this run is going to help you pulling pulling guard runs like like this one like the counter like the power o runs like that really do help i think a lot with most of the run defenses that you're going to face because most of the run defenses that people are going to naturally try to do against you are going to be running defenses that are designed to stop stretch or designed to stop inside zone this running play is specifically designed to essentially counter that so when you combine it with if you have buck sweep to the to the right um in the middle and then you have your inside zone here that you can kind of mix in as well if they don't have inside stuff i would highly recommend this one other play that I'll give you for free here out of this out of this playbook. And like I said, guys, be sure to subscribe because we do do uh, tips every single day here on the channel. We do at least one. Uh, normally we get to um, normally we get to about three or four. Uh, but anyway, trio offset. And I want to show you. Whoops, I think I'm on the wrong one. Yep, trio offset. So you've got power O. You've got uh, read option, which is really really good. What's cool about read option? It's attached to a bubble screen. Uh, which I think is really, really good. But you can also have the outside zone. And outside zone this year, um, for my money, outside zone is up there. I mean, it's it's a really, really effective run if they don't know it's coming. So like if they don't, if they're expecting you to run the buck sweep and you now run the outside zone, that's going to help you a lot. Um, you're going to see they just hold their blocks this year. The wide receivers do really just, I think the wide receivers hold their blocks really, really well. And so you're just going to find that you can actually run outside zone as a thing this year. It's kind of a thing. Um, you know, it's, 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 it's not stretch from shotgun, but it's close. Like it's not stretch from shotgun. Cause you see, there is that shoot right there that they can do. 
but it is kind of close. Like it's very, very effective. I mean, it's it's like a, you know, you're getting about 80% of the stretch run in this run by running this outside zone, in my opinion. Um, so this just works really, really well. When you audible, like I said, if you go to the read option, you see here it's attached to a bubble screen. So what I can do as Lamar Jackson, you're going to see, you know, if you got a Lamar, you got a Kyler Murray, or you got a Michael Vick and Rhett or a Mutt, even if you have an Aaron Rodgers, um, I find this run, you know, to be very, very well, very, very well balanced off of it. So they all kind of come uh, hand in hand, in my opinion. Um, the fact that that bubble screen you're going to find with the bubble screen really quickly, if I hand the ball off to the running back, I do want to show that real quick. So if I hand the ball off to the running back in the read option, that bubble screen is going to pull defenders with him. It's going to open up the inside running lanes for you. So this formation as a whole, I think, is a really, really solid running formation. You have every run that you can possibly want, uh, except for zero one trap. But buck sweep, really, I think buck sweep might be better than zero one trap because you get two guards pulling, and they really do work hand in hand this year. I love this run. Like. I'm telling you, you if, if you're patient with this run, and you do want to lab it a little bit, you want to practice it a little bit, but learn this run a little bit, I'm telling you right now, this run, if you're patient, the lanes will open up. So, you know, I just wanted to share this with you. We will be streaming tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. Be sure to sign up for the text membership. There's going to be a couple of other videos that I want you to check out that are going to come up on your screen here in just a second. But before that comes up here, I do want to encourage you, if you have not joined my Discord yet, that is a phenomenal place for you to be able to grow and be able to get better. Because Discord, basically what it is, is it's an, it's an opportunity for our entire community to be able to come together as a unit, as a whole, and to be able to help each other out. You can ask questions to each other. You can set up lab games. You can throw your favorite plays in there for people to see. It's just a great opportunity to connect and a great opportunity to just get better together because that's what we're all about. We're all about getting better. And if you're going to get better, you're going to need people to help you get better. You can't get better by yourself. You, you just can't. All right. I'm just going to tell you that right now. You cannot get better as a player by yourself. Every single time that I've gotten better, it has been either because I lost to somebody else and that helped me learn some weaknesses or because somebody better than me helped me get better. So there's a lot of humility in that statement, in my opinion. And, you know, part of truly becoming great, part of truly becoming a great player at this game, being willing to learn from others. You can learn from anybody. And I just want to encourage you with that and leave you with that. We'll see you guys on stream tonight.